y'all. Today I am going to be using these five dock doors to show you guys a couple maneuvers. So the first one I'm going to show you how to do is the alley dock. And I'm going to show you this with a couple of references. This is one of the dockings that you're going to learn in CDL school. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to line my driver door up to the door that they give me. So for this video, we're just going to say that they gave me dock door 48 and as you can see I'm lined up right with it let me show you so as I get out of the truck to show you guys a better view I'm going to stand right in front of my driver door and point it towards the dock so that you can clearly see that I am standing right in front of door 48 got it got it here is another view from me standing right in front of the dock as you can see there's my door now when we get to this point, we wanna go ahead and drive to the next door in front of us. So I put a crate on the ground for reference because we can't see. We're just gonna pretend like that's another truck in the dock. So we're gonna pull up to that door and we're going to stop. That is our first reference so we can get prepared to turn out. When we turn out, we are setting ourselves up for success when we are getting ready to back into this door. As you can see, I am turning out and then I'm going to stop so I can give you guys a better view of how this looks from a different angle. Let's go. Okay guys, so here is another view and I just want you guys to be mindful and remember that you want to start your turnout once you pass your assigned dock door, not on your assigned dock door because it's going to mess up your setup. Now what I'm doing is I'm utilizing the middle of my space. So I'm going to look at all of my space and I want to be set up right dead center in the middle. This is another view so you can see that I'm in the middle. So if you didn't notice my wheels were straight when I got to this position. Now my wheels are turned and I'm starting to push that truck back. So as I'm doing this, I am looking in my rear view mirror to make sure that I'm not turning too hard and that my trailer is getting right where it needs to be. So as you can see, I'm doing this very slow. I'm taking my time. You do not need to rush this process. And as you can see, my trailer tandems are all the way back. Normally when you do this, your trailer tire tires will not be all the way back. However, for educational purposes, I did this on purpose so that my trailer can move a lot slower. Anyhow, now you can see I'm lining up with my door and it looks like I'm on my door perfectly however I have overshot it but this is done purposely so as I get close to the trailer you can actually see this is what my mirror view actually looks like and I am past my dock door which is purposely done because what I'm gonna do is move forward and when I move forward what is gonna happen is my truck is going to start to line up with that door so you don't want to be properly on the door when you first back into it you want to be at an angle where it looks like you're off that way when you pull up you will be directly on the door so let me show you what that looks like I'm gonna go ahead and pull up so you guys can get a better view of what that looks like so you can get exactly what I am trying to explain to you. So now I am going to pull up. Once I successfully did that, now I am going to show you the view. This is the view. This is how it looks when I use all of my space and I pull to the front. It looks like now that I am past my door and I'm off. But actually, when I go to the door and I line myself up with the trailer, you're going to see exactly what I see with my rear view mirror. And here it is right here. I am actually right up on that door. I am just a little off. So at this point, all you need to do is little adjustments, a little to the left, a little to the right, a little to the left, a little to the right, baby adjustments at this point, and you're going to hit that dock dead on. Just remember that when you're backing, take your time, little adjustments, and your setup from the beginning is always perfect. If you don't get it right, just set up again. It's that simple.